as soon as this Black Falcon Castle came out, I had a great idea to build a bigger one. So I took two of these sets and combined them into a castle twice as big. And then I was like, you know what? Why not get three of them? And instead of just breaking these two apart, I just bought three new sets and built a full new castle. And then within that time, the Lion Knight's castle came out. And of course, I like castles, so I had to get the Lion Knight's castle. And it's a brilliant build, one of my favorite Lego sets amongst all of my collection. But I made a stupid choice. This is too many castles. Like, I never thought I could have too many, but turns out I can. Because this looks impressive on my desk, but I have no idea where I'm gonna put it or what I wanna take down. And if I really wanna use like a fifth of my Lego room as castles. But while, <laughs> but while we're here, I might as well show off these castles to you guys so you can enjoy them and then I don't know what I will do. Each set is able to open up and have a full on front large display. So here's our little one, little castle, and then our one over here, just twice as big. And honestly, I'm just gonna say, this was the first one I built. And it was kind of funny how I built that. I was like, okay, it feels like a decent castle, but kind of small. And then I built this one. I was like, eh, this looks like a baby castle. And then we have this castle over here. Now this one is quite impressive when it's all sprawled out. I I do like it, it's a good castle. And then we have over here, the Lion Knight's castle, which is truly a phenomenal work of art. And it's, it's pro I have to say, it's my favorite castle. There's so many little details, like especially if we look on the other side, every room's got a story. We have an armory, storage, all our knights. And I did add all of my archers that I've been storing and been, I, I build Lego armies. So I had a full on lion knight archer squad and they were over now sprawled through the castle. And we have a dungeon down here with holding off some bricks, just keeping them safe from the skeletons. And then all the way up here, we have a playroom, a kit, well, kitchen, second kitchen, just more like a study room, a dining hall, our blacksmithery, and another bedroom. Whereas this one, I did add up a decent amount of stuff. We have a treasury with so much treasure. And then we also have our blacksmiths. We have an armory and dining hall kitchen, a bed, a bedroom, and like two studies, and blacksmith shop. So overall, if you can kind of see and tell, there was a little bit of inspiration taken from the Lion Knight's castle into building this one. And this one, I followed some instructions that I will link in the description. So I did not freehand build this one. This was by a guy online and it turned out pretty good. But for $300, if you're going to spend the 300 I honestly would just recommend going the extra mile and getting the Lion Knight's Castle. Purely for the reason the soldiers you get and all the figures you get are so much cooler in this one. You get such a better array of figures. Like most of these Lion Knights are from the set. Oof. And just my archers. They're the only ones that were added just by me. Since I show you the inside of these two, let's just show you the inside of these ones. So we got dungeons and a watchtower with some secret alchemy rooms. And then over here, so this is the double size one. This is the $200 set because it was two boxes. And then overall, it's not too much other stuff. Study, um, <coughs> blank rooms, few goods, dining table, and smithery, and then a bedroom right there. And then guess what? Our $100 set is simple. We got the dungeon, some rooms, not very much stuff. Like these are some pretty blank empty rooms. The bridge kind of works. You can roll it up Oop, and then drop it down. And we have 
Mithri, and a bedroom. And that is my four castles at four different price points. 100, 200, 300, and 400. And I would not recommend doing this. It does not feel like it was worth a thousand dollars to have these castles. But let me know, which one of these four castles is your favorite?